I've been living in a little town in the Italian Alps with my Italian fiancé for roughly three months now. Soon we are going to downsize to a 25 square metre studio apartment. Let me show it to you. Before moving in, the red carpet is going to be replaced with wooden floor. What are you doing, Nelly? What are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah. Explain we're, to everyone. We're taking the moquette off and installing new timber floor. And what's moquette? Moquette is the carpet. Carpet. This sexy red carpet. The previous owners were such big lovers of red that they had the base of the table covered in the same material as the carpet. Now I love red, but it's not a very calming colour for the space where you're going to be sleeping. So we're going to have it changed. The kitchen counter was scuffed and had marks on it, so Alessandra is going to paint it a medium grey to match the granite on the floor. First we removed the skirting from the wall and we numbered each piece and section of wall it came off with the same number. This is so we know where each piece went because once the floor has been replaced the skirting will be reattached. Is this really satisfying? Yeah. You wanna satisfying. try? Yeah. What's up? That's fine. Okay. Just keep going. Oh, I know it's done. When removing the skirting, we also made sure to take out all the nails. And you pull them out of this way because if you push them back, you break it. <laughs> we should have just left. Left the carpet? Hmm. Alessandro also removed the silicone and cement on the skirting so that when we reattach it later, it'll be flush with the wall. Yesterday, Alessandro and his dad finished pulling up the carpet, except for that little patch. <laughs> and it already looks so much better, so much more relaxing and neutral than the bright red carpet. So my dad was using just a, a normal trowel and a hammer to get rid of the carpet. So we got this that normally is used for removing the ice on the road and also pizza. So we made the process a lot faster and I'll show you how to do it. That look really easy, but it looked exhausting. <laughs> the next day, I returned to the apartment and discovered that the carpenter had started laying the wooden floors. After experimenting with the planks laid horizontally and vertically, we opted for them to be laid vertically because it looked more visually cohesive for them to match the same direction as the granite tiles. Similarly, to match the grey granite, we used a warm oak wood that also contained cooler grey tones. Each plank is a mix of pine and oak wood. The underlay is made out of pine because it is stronger and more cost effective, and the top 4mm is oak for a nicer finish. We hired a carpenter because we'd never laid wooden floors before and wanted to learn how to do it. Plus, we didn't have the right equipment. 
He started placing the planks parallel to the granite tiles instead of against the wall to make sure the wood was flush with the tile. When the wood meets the wall, a slight gap is needed to allow the wood to expand and contract. That's why skirting is used for wooden floors to hide the gap. For each plank, the carpenter used a pencil to mark where the wood needs to be cut. He then cut the wood using a drop saw. and used adhesive to secure the plank in place. Each plank has a tongue on one edge and a groove on the other. To make sure that the tongue goes into the groove and vice versa, he individually hit each plank using a rubber mallet. If you want to try this yourself, make sure to use a rubber, not a plastic mallet, so you don't mark the wood. I also highly encourage you to get knee pads so your knees don't get too sore by the end of it. The carpenter repeated these steps until the entire floor was covered in wood. Lucky for him, the space was only 18 square metres. Hello again. We've been living here for a couple of weeks now with our beautiful wooden floors and I wasn't sure what it would be like living in 18 meters squared and sleeping in a kitchen, uh, but it's actually really nice. I love it. It's very cozy because it's smaller. It keeps the warm in the winter um, and coming from Australia, that's really, really nice compared to the one bedroom apartment we were living in before. Um, and one thing we did do which was a huge help is instead of having like a permanent bed, we swapped it for a sofa couch and you would think it wouldn't be comfortable, but it is actually surprisingly comfortable, um, which is great. So whenever we have guests over, which is normally no more than two, <laughs> we can fold the bed up and turn it back into a couch, which is super helpful. It's also really handy that it has these sections where you can just put the pillows in. Another thing we did was replace the existing table and the base that was covered in the red carpet with a table that had a veneer that matched the same tone as the wooden floor. So the red carpet was gone once and for all. If you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe for more DIY and interior design inspo.